Hi, it's Paul from Sailing Cake Louise, and I'm back at the Gwandalan boat ramp on Lake Macquarie. I'm going to sail with Steve today over to Paul Bar Island, stay the night, and come back tomorrow. It has been raining all night, and it's pretty wet, uh, but it's meant to clear up about 11 o'clock, and then tomorrow it should be nice. So here's hoping. Thanks for joining me on another dinghy cruising adventure on my Stornoway 18 Lugsail Yawl. I'm glad it's clearing up because I thought you probably weren't looking forward to a day of sail in the rain. You know? So Steve's full mar is a Gunter Rick. Full Mars and Inuit tread design. Yep, so we're off sailing again and the rain has cleared, the sun's come out, and hopefully we'll have a nice day sail, and I think we will. Uh, it's a Monday, there's just nobody here. It's just oh amazing. Absolutely amazing. Really love it here. Um, and I found my glasses. You might remember in my last video I lost my glasses. Well I found them. They were in the bilge. So there you go, all good. All good. The Fulmar is definitely a fast boat. Just put the canvas hatch cover on and it's a very tight fit with popper studs so it's a bit fiddly getting it on. Steve's left me for dead, he's down there somewhere. Nice bit of breeze though. Absolutely flying. It's great fun. I think it's probably six knots now or something right behind us. So it's broad reaching or running all the way down. Lovely. So that is Rapperty's Resort here at Murray's Beach. It's a big resort. Wedding venue, there's a cafe there. Then I think Murray's Beach Residential is just over here in these trees. over here at Murray's Beach Wharf because there's a cafe there and you can get a coffee. So that was a very nice coffee break at Murray's Beach Cafe. Very nice. Very nice houses there. Very expensive. Wouldn't mind living there though. Views like this. Incredible. So the sun's sort of out between the clouds. Uh, still nobody around. We're going to sail up the back of uh, Wanji Wanji Point. Uh, sail around there for a bit because it's only about 12 o'clock and then come back to Paul Bar which is only just over there. It's an 
absolutely beautiful day. this is a wonderful day but you know what makes it really nice there are no jet skis I think I've said before when I've been up here that Lake Macquarie is four and a half or five times bigger than Sydney Harbour so it's huge as you can see the winds picked up quite a bit so I've put a reef in which is a good idea thank you So it's just about time for bed. Beautiful day's sail, and tomorrow, hopefully, it'll be just as good. See you in the morning. Oh, I've just had breakfast. Beautiful morning, a bit cloudy, but um, very peaceful. The birds are beautiful this morning. There's already a gentle breeze blowing, so it should be a nice day. Unfortunately, I lost my other camera over the side, uh, the Osmo Pocket, and it's not waterproof. I managed to get it and bring it back on board, but unfortunately, it's gone cactus. I wanted another camera anyway. But it's a bit annoying. Hopefully I can retrieve what's on the card. I don't know till I get home. Anyway. It's a bit cloudier this morning. It's actually meant to be uh, clearer today. But anyway, it's a nice breeze. 
No two or three knots, I'd imagine, but we're going quite nicely. Just pottering around a bit. It's a peaceful sleep last night. Very nice, very quiet. Couldn't believe it. And the birds this morning were fantastic. I had to get up and film some birds or record some birds because they're beautiful. Very nice. Well, I have to say, this is a beautiful sail across. I'm not steering, it's just um, the boat is so well balanced. It's sort of broad reaching or nearly running with the wind. Uh, beautiful, just gently bobbing along. And as you can see, there's nobody here. I know I keep saying it, but it is nice when you go to places that aren't too crowded. I watched an interesting YouTube video the other day, courtesy of the Sydney Raid Sailing Group, and it was about uh, fishing boats called Galway Hookers uh, that were built in Ireland ages ago and used for fishing and, and transporting goods up and down the coast. You know, they were quite large, 30, 50 foot, and they all had tanned sails. And uh, apparently they are used to tan, the sails were made out of cotton, but to preserve the sails, they uh, soaked them in the bark of a cashew tree, which made them orangey brown. Hence, the origin of tan sails on sailboats. I thought that was interesting. We'll make Roger envious. <laughs> it's Pool Bar Island over there, where we stayed last night. Yeah, so we're heading back now, back to the boat ramp. It's about one o'clock. Uh, we've got a beat or tap all the way into the wind. So it's probably gonna take two or three hours. Um, I've got a reef in, so there's uh, quite a bit of wind. But it's beautiful, beautiful sail. And as you can see, there's no clear round still. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Thanks for sharing this trip, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment, I will reply. See you next time.